Hey guys! That's JC, and we are doing, I think it's episode 5 of our Bible study series. And today we are going to be reading 1 Kings chapter 8, because I read it the other day and I thought it was very good. And I'll probably end up doing a school Bible study about it too. 22 through 24. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord and spread out his hands toward heaven and said, O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you. Keeping covenant and showing steadfast love to your servants who walk before you with all their heart. I really like how it says, O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you. In heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenant and showing steadfast love to your servants who walk before you with all their heart. That's probably my favorite part of that little section. There is no one like God. He keeps his promises and he always shows us his steadfast love. God's love is the best love to your servants who walk with you before you with all their heart. We need to believe in God with all of our heart and trust in him and have faith and walk with him. And that is how we are close to God. 56 through 61. Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he has promised. Not one word has failed of all good, of all his good promise, which he spoke by Moses his servant. The Lord our God be with us as he was with our fathers. May he not leave us or forsake us, that he may incline our hearts to him who walk in his ways, to keep his commandments, his statutes, and rules, which he commanded our fathers. Let these words of mine, which I have pleaded before the Lord, be near to the Lord our God day and night. And may he maintain the cause of his servant, people Israel. Each day requires that all the peoples of the earth may know that the Lord is God. There is no other. Let your heart therefore be wholly true to the, to the Lord our God. And then it says that he may incline our hearts to, it, to him and walk in all his ways to keep his commandments, his statutes, his rules, which he has commanded us. This means, I think that means just to, like it inclines us to be more like him and to do what he wants us to do and what's right and follow his commands and, and not listen to anyone else just follow your heart with what god tells you to do if you're ever needing to decide for something just ask god for help and he will guide you through. give it to god lay it at his feet real prayer expects great things to happen yes you pray but do you wholly like if you're praying you expect god to answer your prayers because that's what he does. Real prayer is whenever you pray and you know something good is going to happen. Like you know God will answer that prayer and he always will and it's like you expect it, you're waiting for it. If you pray you kind of forget that it's how amazing it is, how like you ask God and he'll give it to you. And that my friend is how I know God is real. I think that it'd be a fun episode to do like how do we know God is real? Have a great day, y'all. Stay, stay blessed. Hashtag blessed.